Introducing the new digs for Rascal and her babies. That other cage was really hard to get the litter box cleaned out and she wasn't getting as much air as they need. So this way, the other cats can't really get around to them. See, I blocked everything off around them. And they have their cage and it's a front loading. And it's easy for me to clean out the litter box. And you see what a good mommy she is? She is a great mom. And they are having a great time playing in there. And Heather, I'm gonna call you our lady of the towels. Because every time you give me towels, they come in so handy. They have baby bumpers and they have a baby on the bottom. I mean, they have a bed on the bottom and they are just enjoying that. These little guys, they're gonna get good homes. They better get good homes. I'm putting a mojo on anyone who does anything bad to these kittens, a really bad mojo. I'm gonna give them my bursitis and my bunion pain and everything else. So they better be good to these babies. <laughs> they're fabulous and they're very playful. They love it. And they're very into people too, especially that one in the back. They love people, they love to be kissed. And she is just a great mom. And what else can I say? Now you see this dark around it. I'm protecting her from anything else and I'm protecting her from the other cats. So she has a little cave in there and she's really good. She's a pretty good cat. She herself is gonna come around soon. I don't think she's super feral. I think she's been traumatized. All right, so she'll, they'll get um, tested and vaccinated in about a week. Then they can start going to their homes, and she'll get spayed, and then we'll see what happens with her. But look at these little cutie babies. Oh, my God, they kill me. They're so cute. They're so precocious.